Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I am here for my Mass Make Monday and um, this is just going to be something that I want to have a lot of that are kind of generic and um, I'm going through my craft room and I'm sorting and that kind of thing and kind of re-seeing some things that I forgot I had and quite honestly that's kind of just I mean I can't even tell you how many ideas that I've come up with just by you know finding all these things so um, it's probably worth it just for that but anyway um, what I'm going to do today is we are going to be using these little tags that you get at the Dollar Tree and you can get them at Walmart or whatever these are by Jot and they're, all they are is these little tags and they have a little string so for a dollar 25 how many do you get you get 30 of them in there so i just thought for my mass make we're going to do something really simple today is we are just going to take these okay and we are going to um uh do some stamping on them and maybe if we have time a few other things there's a lot of different things you can do with them but for me today, um, I'm going to try and keep it pretty short. Um, we'll see, you know, but we'll see how much time we have. And on, I am really on the Mass Make bandwagon. I, I never used to do that, and I'm just so into it now. I can tell you it's just been a lot of fun for me to start doing that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do with these, let me move all my stuff aside, is I am going to take... Um, this is my uh, coffee alcohol ink and you can use alcohol ink in there and alcohol but I have used uh, just um, instant coffee a little bit of instant coffee and alcohol and I'm gonna kind of um, I don't know if I'm gonna I would call them grungy but I'm gonna make them a little bit you know um, a little bit more how I would like them I'm not gonna do all of them um, although honestly guys it, this is going to be so easy you may want to so I'm going to get out my mat and uh, here I'll just use half of it because I don't think I'm going to need the whole thing and I'm just going to go ahead and put a bunch of these down and they're a little bit glossy um, but when you spray this stuff on it does kind of make the gloss go away but they're very very white I mean you can use them that way if you want to but I kind of personally like them a little bit more um, I wouldn't say grungy but a little bit vintage so I don't know however many I can put on here just to kind of get a few done so Anyway, yeah, when I'm going through all my stuff, I'm finding all kinds of things. Anyway, so this is just um, just regular instant coffee with alcohol. And I'm spraying the, uh, the uh, strings a little bit too because they're very white. But I'm not going out of my way to get them because they'll, they'll end up getting kind of dyed too. Okay, and... I am going to just get these done. Super easy. And I'm going to go ahead and dry these and I'll be right back. Okay, so they're done and I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. And of course, they're not perfect. They've got little, you know, little spots and stuff. And, and that actually, to me, adds character to them. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that. So we're just going to go ahead and spray the other side. And see, I told you the little strings, they'll probably all get, you know, and if they're not, you can always spray them. But usually by the time you get done, they all wind up getting sprayed. And I, like I said, I don't really care that they're perfect because that's kind of the look we're looking for. We're looking for beer, been around for a long time. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and dry these. All right. 
So we have quite a few of them, but I had done some before. So I have a lot here to work with. Anyway, I just kind of went through and looked through my stamps just to find some that would work. Oh, that little teacup might be cute, huh? So um, I've had some of these forever. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, this might work. Teacup, that. So you can see how easily this could, you know, you could get quite a big stash. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. I don't know if I'll do the arrow. We'll see. I think I got enough to start with, that's for sure. And I have um, a bunch of archival ink, and um, I think I'm mainly going to use um, brown. This is a vintage photo, and let's see what other colors I have in here. Um, I think I'm going to use vintage photo, hickory smoke, and black soot. So I'm going to start out with black soot. I'm going to move this aside so I have room. I'm still working through my craft room, but I have to keep telling myself that I need to just be patient because I really, really have a lot to go, and I'm just, I, I just cannot bring myself to not just hurry up and quick and finish it, but I want to make sure that I put things where I want them to be and that I really evaluate things and... Here, let's just use, that might be cute. And I don't know if I'm always going to use a stamping block. These are really old stamps, so I don't know if all of them will stick. Okay. Now, these are a little bit glossy. Um, if you don't like that, you could just take um, some matte medium or something and go over it. But I think once you distress some like this, you really, it, the gloss goes down a lot. So, and that does not bother me. So, and I'm going to be stamping both sides of this. So, um, all right. See, that turned out just, see, just that alone. And I'm going to do about a few of these because, you know, I've already got the stamp mounted. And that's the whole idea of mass making, right? So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll think of something to put on the back. I think I have an, a little tiny, let me see what I have under here. I've got to look. I've got, I think I have a small Eiffel Tower somewhere. Yeah, I got a bunch of small ones here too. Look at that. See? There's some really cute ones in there. I gotta try those. But anyway, I really think this is a great addition to like you could put this on the top of a tag or um, just on a page, you know. Now you don't have to use the string. But I'm leaving the string on until I decide what exactly I'm going to do with them. And when you um, coffee dye these or whatever, I mean, you can use regular coffee dye. I use the alcohol because um, that's my fast way of doing things. And quite honestly, I do that on a lot of stuff. Now, that one turned out a little weird because I moved it, but I think it's still usable. So I'm going to leave that over there. And... I'll do one more because I really like that. I think I'm going to try and maybe do words on one side. And so these are Tim Hall. I've got some, um, some sample stamps that I think will look good um, on the other side. I'd, I'd like maybe do some sort of script or something. So there's not anything too exciting doing this. I'm not doing anything earth shattering, but I do think that this is a great way to use your stamp. Let me get my wipes out here. I'm telling you, I am just surrounded by stuff. 
because I have on the left side of my desk, I've got piles and piles of things as I'm sorting through my room that I need to put away. And the amount of little things that I have to put away is it's pretty, it's a lot. Okay, so I'm going to leave that over there. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off a little bit. I don't worry too much if my stamps are, you know, perfect or pristine. Um, I actually think I want to do that little Eiffel Tower and the ballerina. And, you know, part of what I'm doing now is I found all these things that I have not used. I mean which is so sad, right? So, so sad that you have all these things and you don't use them. So anyway, let's go ahead and I think I'm going to do um, the same on that. I'm going to use this again. So I guess she will fit on there. And I know I've used this one before. I don't remember. I don't remember what I did with them, but I know I used them. But it's been a long, long time. And I don't know if these are retired. Um, so you kind of would have to look. I looked out there and I didn't see anything on Amazon, but that doesn't mean you can't get them. Oh yeah, see isn't that cool? That's such a cool little tag. Right? Wonderful. Alright. Um, I don't want to do them all the same. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing a bunch of them the same, just but I don't want to bore you guys to death. So let's try the Eiffel Tower one. I think I'm going to need a bigger stamp block. I hope that fits on there. I have to see how I can fit that on there. I don't know where that came from. All right. Let's see here. Well, it kind of sort of fits. I'm going to go ahead and have it lean off a little bit. I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to go ahead and move my camera in a little bit so y'all can see better. All right. Oh yeah, that turned out okay. It's a little smeared, but I think you get the gist of it. That's cool. Uh, maybe I'll try another one with that and then see. I think I put too much ink and I pressed too hard before. All right. Yeah, that one turned out way better. Way, way better. See that? that I mean, that just makes a cool little stamp. I mean, a little tag. And these are just super easy. All right, so I'll do one more with this. I might as well. You know I'm going to end up doing more of these, so. I could just think of so many things you could do with these. Um, you know, add them to some other smaller tags and then, right? Yeah, that one turned out good. Okay, so let me just see. This is the bigger stamp like that right here, guys. See, it's the exact same stamp, and these are miniatures. So I don't know if they, you know, I don't even know if they're still sold, but I, I love them. When I got them, I wasn't sure. Like, oh, what am I going to do with those? But, you know, really, there's a lot of things you can do with those. Um. Let me just do some more of these and then we will figure out later what we're going to do with them, right? 
because yeah and it just so happens that these tags are really the perfect size for stuff like this and I'll bet you even you'll go through and you'll find all kinds of stuff so let me do that I could do these in different colors but I'm gonna keep it oh yeah let me move my camera in so uh, let's try this one. Kind of make the string out of the way. I mean, there's nothing I'm doing that's just like, you know. But my point is that I want to have a stash. I've never had a stash. I don't, I never have done my journals that way. <gasps> Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Love that. So I'm going to do at least two of every one that I have. And then I'm going to try and find some different words or something. I was kind of looking at some of the um, sayings and things that I had, but a lot of them were just like too long and they wouldn't fit. So I may have to come up with something. I may have to put, you know, two pictures on here or something. Because, um, you know, I just don't. I don't know what I can put on there, but I think some of the Sam Pool ones will work really well. So now I'm going to do, I don't, I guess it's a violin, right? So let's do that. And I'm going to tilt that so it fits a little bit. I didn't think about that for the Eiffel Tower. I could have tilted it a little bit. So, and I don't have the original packaging or anything on those to tell you what they're called. But I do know that they are Tim Holtz. I bought them at Tuesday morning um, ages ago. I mean, a oh, really long time ago. So, back when they used to have a lot of cool stuff. I don't know. I went there recently and I, did, I, I know that people have said that they have more stuff. But, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, come on, right? So simple, but yet perfect. Perfect. No, I'm doing three. I was going to do two. Oh, well, that's okay. That's all right. So anyway, um, yeah, this is just kind of more of a craft and chat than it is a how to but and it is a mass make I don't want people to think that that isn't oh I like this bird let's try this bird right I guess I don't think I've ever used it all right let's try the bird um when you um do these two what will happen is that you will get um, they will kind of like bend a little bit and but when you do both sides they kind of flatten out pretty good and Actually, I love that they're not perfect because I think that actually adds to the character. So um, Let me go ahead and move these glasses over I wonder if I should go that way would that be better no I'm trying to get all of it on there so let's see if I can fit it all because it barely fits it's almost like he made them for my little tags here now of course if you don't have access to something like this you can certainly use like a die cut um, or a punch or something I actually have a tag punch but these actually oh it fit on there good oh yeah I like that okay I'm gonna do another one like that so I did a bunch of these. Uh, my goal truly is to have a stash. I don't have a stash of anything. So I just never have really ever um, done my journals that way. I just usually just kind of like, you know, make things as I go for each journal. Occasionally I've done a few things ahead 
Um, but when I do do it ahead, it's kind of, I, 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 I'm, it's in, I'm in the process of making a journal. Um, kind of like when I did those boho um, tags the other day, if you guys watched. Um, I know I'm making those journals, so I'll make those tags. But I don't, you know, I think I'll do one more bird too. Um, so that's kind of what I do. And I don't normally ever make a lot in advance so this is kind of a new thing for me and I'm kind of trying to do that in between making journals because um, sometimes you don't feel like making a whole journal sometimes you're like okay or even not if you don't feel like it I mean right now I have so many things going on um, you know my whole upstairs is a wreck because I pretty much emptied out my craft room into it. Um, and I'm sorting and doing all that because I'm really, this is a deep, deep dive, you know. And um, and then my downstairs, the more I'm spending time up here, the worse that's starting to look. So, oh, I like this birdcage. Why don't we do that? Let's do the birdcage. And, you know, the more I do that, I'm just like, well, I don't have time to do the stuff, just your normal stuff. Just do your laundry and, you know, I have done my laundry, but it's in a big pile in my bedroom that I need to go put away. And it wouldn't probably take that long. I just hate doing laundry. That's always been my thing that I hate more than anything. When I was single and young, I used to just buy clothes so that I didn't have to do laundry. <gasps> Do I love that birdcage. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. So, hey, if any of you know that if these stamps are out there, let us know. Put it in the comments so we can let people know where to get them. Because they're great little stamps. And see, I didn't even use half of them, you know? And that's how it is. You have your stash and you don't use it. And you think, gosh, what am I going to do with it? Well, God, I think these are cool. I mean, these are really cool. Love that. I'm going to do one more. I guess I'm doing three. I really shouldn't do three of each. I have a few more of these that I can make, but I don't have a ton. What's going on over here? Oh, that's a blank one. You need to go over there. So I did both sides of all of these. I'm trying to keep my piles together so I don't lose track. All right, really love that birdcage. Okay. All right, let me wipe that off a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could start doing the back so we could see what they look like. Um, now let me keep doing the front and then we'll do the backs all at one time. I've got these little birds. I'm trying to keep track of what I've done and what I haven't done. And I guess I'm just using black. I don't know. Well, I really like how it looks with the black though. I'm going to try some of the brown though, but I think the black's going to end up looking the best. Usually always does. Okay, which way will they fit? Yeah, I don't know. I think they kind of have to go that way. I can kind of tilt them. Let me tilt them a little bit so they fit. There we go. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I bought these stamps way before I ever had a YouTube channel so and that's what happens you know when I have things and I know other YouTubers are in the same same oh yeah that turned out pretty good tilted right I think that's cool you know they're in, kind of in the same situation because um, you know they may have stuff that they bought that they don't know where they bought it from or I know where I bought it from and I know that these are Tim Hole stamps I just 
have no idea if they're still making them. I have to, you know, I bet I should go look on Joanne's and see if they still have them because sometimes they have some really old ones. I love these. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? So, so cute. Um, anyway, so this has kind of brought me to my little um, use my stuff. Oh, I was going to do that in brown. I'll just do it in black, I guess. I'll do another one. I don't know. We're going to run out of tags, guys. I'm going to have to stop and dye some more. Which is a good thing. Because, you know what? That's a good thing. It's a really, really good thing. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? He makes the, they make the best stamps. They really do. It does make a difference. It does really make a difference when you get the authentic, real thing. I mean, there's probably knockoffs out there by now, but I will tell you, I remember when I got these, I was like, wow, that's great, you know. But I know they're all mixed up because... Um, you know how they don't stick after a while onto the backing or whatever. That's so cool, isn't it? Okay, I'm trying to do as many as possible so we can do do a different. All right, so I've done the bird. I've done that. Have I done the? Yeah, I've done the hot air balloon. I've done the ballerina. I've done that. What? It, what are you? Oh, a typewriter. Let's do the typewriter. Yeah, for sure. Let's do the typewriter. So this is one I've never used. Make sure I have enough ink on there because when you never first time you use it, you gotta ink it up more. You know, you're playing with fire a little bit. You probably should stamp it off on something, but mm -hmm. all right. Let's see how you look. Oh, yeah. See? <gasps> super cool. Super, super cool. Yep. I don't know how you can go wrong with this. And, of course, you could wait to do the other side, you know, to know what you're putting in. So, but I'm going to do both because I kind of figured, you know what? I just want to be able to grab stuff and use it. Oh yeah, love that. I love that typewriter. Really nice. I don't know. Are there any that I don't love? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Um, okay, I've got a leaf. I don't know if I'm going to use a leaf. I mean, it's okay, but... Let's see. Oh, I like the teacup. Let's just do the teacup. That'd be fun. Right? Maybe we'll do the teacup. I mean, the leaf's okay. It's just a little boring, you know, just a leaf by itself. I guess it just depends on what kind of journal you're doing, right? So, anyway, I'm in the throes of um, trying really, really hard to... Oh, that's my that's my son's dog. That's another thing I'm dealing with. Um, yeah, my son is staying with us because he's having his um in his house. Um, he's having his uh bathroom renovated and the floor in his bedroom, and um, he's got two roommates. You know that they have their own bathroom and stuff and um and you know he lives close by so um yeah so I have his dogs and they're wonderful dogs trust me they're golden retriever lab mix and with my golden retriever and it's good for Dory my dog because she has has company although she although she you can tell she really likes being an only child sometimes sometimes she's just had enough Ooh, let's do the hand. Got to do the hand. 
especially when you don't know like you know what what kind of journal you're going to make it's good to you know kind of have a few things i'm going to do that kind of at an angle gotta go back up here so you guys can see right and anyway so i have them here and that does that does kind of you know make it a little rougher because i'm having to do a lot of stuff so I may just do pictures. Nah, 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 nah. I want to kind of maybe, I want to crank out some sand pool stuff, I think. Yeah. Although I did do a lot of sand pool stamping the other day, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So everybody can use that. That'd be great on a tag, right? Okay. So... How many more? We have three left. So what do we have that we absolutely want to use? I don't know. We've got this guy here. Could use him. We've got a crown. We've got a chair. We've got a motorcycle. I think this guy is kind of cool. We'll use him. And what other ones haven't we used? Oh, I haven't used this two pens I haven't used the butterfly and I haven't used the clock oh my gosh there's just too many of them right okay Ooh. definitely gonna have to do more of these for sure okay so I'm gonna do this guy and I'm gonna put him on here see if I can get him to fit Oh, yeah. Didn't he turn out cool? Yeah. Let's see. I'm just trying to do different ones that I haven't used. Just so I feel better about some of the things I own. I don't know about you, but I've just reached a point where I'm like, eh. Okay. I think on some of these, I am actually going to do the back. So I'm going to do something on the back of these. I don't know about the teacups. We shall see. I'm going to kind of separate them. On this typewriter, I think I'm going to do these two pen things. So I'm going to do that. And just see how that looks. Just because I know I'm not going to have enough things to write. Or, you know, well, I actually do. But. Oh yeah, so you've got that on that side and then that on the other side. I like that. I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to do that on the other typewriter because it kind of makes sense to me. Right? So anyways, so I have my son's dogs here, so that's what you heard earlier. I might edit it out so you may not hear it but my point is I have that going on you know and that just that's more to take care of they kind of you know take care of themselves because they're all you know my son's dogs are used to being able to um you know they're they're by themselves of course Dory's not and that's part of the problem with Dory is she feels like she needs to be entertained so I think on these birds, I'm going to go ahead and put these little eggs. I've got these two little eggs. So I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to do that. I'll put one here and one over here. Let me see if that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I'm using the same color just because, you know, I'm going to do that. You know, and not all of them turn out perfect or whatever, but, you know, you want to. All right. Oh, yeah, that turned out good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. 
And then let's see. I don't know. I don't know how many of these I want to. Um, I'll just do that on this one, on this bird. So. And I'm going to go look for some words and stuff. So. Yeah. So. Let me see. How many did I do both sides? I did not do that. Didn't do those. Make sure some of these are dry because they may not be. I don't want to smear them. All right. So I think those are done on both sides. So I can put all of those in that little stash. That's done. And that's done. All right. So I have a bunch of these. I have a couple I haven't done anything to. So I'm going to try. Do I want to put the butterfly on there? Yeah, I think I want to definitely try the butterfly. And I have another small butterfly that has two, but I don't think I can fit. I was going to try and fit a couple of them on there, but I don't think it'll fit. Okay. Yeah, see, that's kind of cool. I wonder if I should put the B on the other side. Nah. Oh, this is kind of bubbled. See, I think what happened is if you get too close to this, it'll bubble. So I don't know. What am I going to do on that? I'll figure out something. I have an idea what I can do on that. I'm going to put that aside. But I don't know. I haven't had any other ones that I see that did that. So, And then I have this clock and I have another clock. So which one do I want? Um, this one's bigger. I could use one on one side and one on the other. That would be cool. Right? So why don't I try that, right? So we will do that. Anyway, I'm probably doing too many of these close to me so I can stamp, but you guys get it. I'm just stamping. I don't have a, a mystery. Now, see, I moved that a little bit, so it's a little blurry, but I think it's usable. So I'm going to just wipe that off a little bit. Of course, your hands get all inky, so... All right, so I'm going to put you right there. And I do think I'm going to wipe off my hands a little bit because I think they're getting a little too inky and I might get some of the ink all over. So anyway. I did not do the back of those, so I'll put those over there. And I think on this one I was going to put admit one. I think I had that. So let me wipe that off. I think I'll throw this one away. I think part of the ink is coming from my thing. I guess I'm just using black, guys, so I'm just getting carried away here. So, let's see, on these two, I think I had, what did I have? Was it admit one? Maybe maybe I didn't get that out. I thought I did. Hmm, maybe I didn't. I thought I had that. Oh, I think I did. What did I do with that? Oh, here it is, right here. Right here. So, I'm going to put that admit one. Let me see if I can do it. No, nope, it's going to definitely have to go sideways or at least, no, maybe kind of tilt it. We will tilt it a little bit like that. Yep, 
that works. Okay, we'll do that on this one. Anyway, I will say that I really, really am happy that I'm getting these things out and using them because, you know, you invest money in all this stuff and then you don't use it. It's kind of disappointing. Um, but it's also fun. You get this stuff to play with and then you don't take it out. So I got an arrow, but I don't know if I want to do that. I think I want to put, and I have some of these because they have all these numbers and things on them and flowers and cool stuff like that. Um, I kind of have to look at them and see what I got. Okay, so I think that would fit. That would fit. And these are Sam Poole. Ugh. And I have, I think I've used most of these. I don't remember, you know, really. So maybe I want to put this flower. Will it fit? I think it'll fit. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. It's going to be tight. Um, got another flower I could use up here. Let me take this one off. I'll just stamp it on the back. And there we go. Um, I'm pretty sure I used this before, but I don't, I don't remember. I love her stamps. They stamp really well. And I don't know. I'd be, I have used quite a few of them. So how about, let me get, I'm going to get some stamping blocks out just so we can do this a little quicker. And then, actually let me put it on that one so I can use that other one. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Should we try you? I think we should try this little tiny, this little one. You know, why not? And then, so they can't be too wide or they're not going to fit. This one will work. Okay. I mean, you don't have to have the whole thing on there, but. In fact, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to have to get a different block out. But um, just so that you can see. Let me see. I've got those right there. Um, I think this one will work. No, it won't. Let me use those first, and then I'm going to get my other set out, and then you can see those. And since I already did it in black, I'm going to probably just go ahead and keep doing black. So this has a little flower, and I think I'm going to, I got ink all over my fingers. Anyway, I don't mind getting inky fingers, but I just don't like them being black for four days. And I have Bonko in a couple days, so... I'm hoping that it'll come off. I'm going to try this teacup. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's see. Um, yeah, why not? We'll try the teacup. And I'm going to do this. It's just a little flower. I'm going to put it on the back. So that's pretty. I need a little bit more ink on that. Okay. So let's do what else? We can do a flower on this bird cage. We can do that. So, anyways, guys, yep. There we go, that's a little darker. Let me put those in my done pile. And then, 
since I haven't already mixed these up, I am going to try and keep these together. So, how about that? That'll be nice. All right, so these, I can put this one on. I can put this one on. Um, yep, dropped another one. This one can go. Ooh, I'm going to put it on here. And this is just a number. It can go on this way. Although I just moved it. Oh, well, we'll see. I'll see if it turns out. Perfect. There we go. See? Um, let's do that on another one. Let's see here. Do it on this other violin. Well, there go the dogs again. Anyway, that's perfect. All right, so let's take that off. That's not that exciting, but, you know, hey, right? And put that back. And I think this one will fit. If it doesn't, yeah, I think I'm going to do it um, to where it goes sideways. And, uh, let me do that. So I'm going to make this because I don't think it'll, well, it might fit. But I still think it'll look better like this. I'm going to do it that way. I think it'll look better going up and down. Yeah. See, I sometimes I think it just looks better that way. So I'm going to do that on another one. Um, hmm. I don't know. How about him? I'll do it on him. And then, did I do another one? Okay. Then we'll try our other set and see. Yeah. I think sometimes it looks good that way. So, let's go put that up and go to the next one. Um, and I'm purposely, I have this other set that would work really, really well because it's got a lot of really small, um, you know, small little things that would fit on there. But I used those recently and I'm just trying to, you know, kind of change it up a little so that you guys can see the different ones. Um, let's see what I got here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Um, Okay, why don't I try this one? It looks like I've never used it, and it's got a lot of numbers and stuff on it. No idea what they say. Um, so let me make sure I get it right side. And then we will do... All right, we'll just do this one. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, yeah, perfect. So... I'm just going to do that. So I'm sure by now y'all are bored out of your mind. But anyway, <laughs> when I do these again, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to try doing some other things to them. Um, I have some ideas, but I'm trying to keep this a simple mass make, so I'm not trying to, oh, that one smeared a lot. All right, but that's okay. It looks pretty good. 
doesn't look terrible. All right, that's because I'm in a hurry. When you get in a hurry, you don't do things right. Okay, let's see here. I'll put that back. And I don't know. Let's see here. Will that go that way now? I don't think it will. This will work. So I guess I am going to get that other set out because it has so many small things that I think would work really good. So I am going to put this Paris 1878 across here. So I know it's simple, but I think it's cool. Um, let's see. One other thing. I'm going to do that on here, too. This is the teacup. Leave that aside. Yeah, love that. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. And I don't know. I'm not certainly not an expert on mass making, but I will say this. I do think that if you're going to do this, you really kind of have to do things that are somewhat generic because you don't know for sure, um, you know, what you're going to be putting them on. So... Um, you know, you, you do know the kind of journals that you make and stuff like that. Um, so let's try this last one. And I'm going to take a few of these because these, I, she has a few more. Oh, and let me show you the numbers too because I do know that on these. These are the, um, this is C E C. C963 Beautiful Garden. And I don't know what the other one was. Oh, okay, this is what did I do with the other stamp set? Oh, I put it up here. That's whatever it is. This one is C E C nine six four Timeless Roses. And this last one is um C E C nine five nine Dates from the Past. And this is one I had been trying to get for the longest time because I really love it. Um, so let's see we can do oh gosh there's so many that would fit in there now so um, I'm going to do this Paris that's an easy one and then I'm going to do Hmm, I like this one. I have no idea what it says. I'll do that. Just like this. I'm basically picking it by the, for the size. Um, I don't think this one would fit that way. Um, I like this number here. And I may put that on with something else. Let's see here. number goes like that. Let's see what number I have that I can put on there that'll fit. If this will fit. I think this will fit. Make sure I don't have it upside down. He all right. What's that? 1842. Okay, let me try with that first. And I don't know. I'm just doing them based on how they look. Now that's not going to go that way. So I'm definitely going to have to do it this way. Yeah, this one, I'm telling you, get your hands on that. Because it's just a really, really nice stamp set. Love it. And her stamps are really, really good quality. 
Oh yeah, doesn't that look cool? I mean, that looks cool just like it is, right? Like, turn it over, yeah. Okay, that's a keeper. Let's just do the other bird like that. I could do this all day, guys. I really could because it's super easy, fun. It's rewarding to use the things that I bought. <laughs> I mean, that is so, I feel like, ah, so it was so justified anyway. But yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. I love that. Love that stamp. Okay. Let's try a different one because I'm trying not to bore you guys completely. Here's the Paris one. So I'm going to put that on here. And I'm just, that's just going to go on the back. Yep. See? Nice and simple. You could think of so many things that you could do with that, right? So I'm going to put it on this one that has the bubble because then I can do it right above that or below it. I'll do it right above, right here. Oh, I keep... See, I'm trying to move it up so you can see and that, then I, may, I move the whole thing. Yeah. Kind of messed that up. This is a really messed up one. I'm going to have to do something with that. Okay, so let's do this one. But I really kind of want to put something with that. I think I'm going to do two things on that. I'm going to do the Paris above it. And I'm going to do that and not move. Yep. I'm sorry. I probably did half of this out of, off a of camera too. Not only is it boring, but it won't be one of my best videos, but oh well. <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's see. What does that say? You guys, what does that say? I can't really read that. I think it goes this way. 70 yeah, I don't want to do it upside down. I'll stamp it on something else so I can tell what it is. It's funny how I'm looking around and I can't find a piece of paper. Is that crazy or what, right? 706. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just do that. So that's how it goes. Yep, I love that. Really love that. You cannot go wrong with her stamps, I'm telling you. See? All right, maybe that other one I did Paris, I'll just have to put something on the bottom and then nobody will ever notice, right? It'll just look old. All right. Um, let's see what other one I want to do. I got one left. So let's see here. Oh, I like this one. I like that one. And I think it'll fit across. We shall see. It'll fit almost across. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to show you. Well, I'll just do this one, but you don't have to use the whole stamp. I mean, you can use here I think I'm going to go this way on that one so there you go all right so now I'm going to um, give you a little preview of how many we've made in this very very short period of time um, I mean and they're very neutral, so you could take these and put them on anything practically. Um, you know, put them on a, on, on a uh, I would put this maybe on the top of a tag, or you could basically um, take a bowl pen and you could put this um, on, oh gosh, I don't know, on the end of a, a, a pocket or something like that I, there's just so many things you could do with this guys but look how many we made I'm just so excited that we made all these 
all of them are not perfect. Um, what you could do on any of them that you did not like, oops, I had this idea to do this, but I didn't think we'd be able to do everything all in one video. So what I was going to show you is I have this old Sears, um, the Sears, uh, catalog. Like, see this one's messed up? So I could just take this little doll head here and just kind of rip this around and then put that on here, okay? To do that a little bit. And even though the numbers are behind that, I could just take some little bit of a glue stick. And this is already kind of vintaged up, so I'm not going to do anything to it. And I'm just going to put that right here. And look at that, guys. So that covered up the back of that. And, you know, let's see. I know we had some more messed up messed up ones. I don't think we had any that were super bad. This one probably had the little butterfly. I don't know what other things we have on the back. You kind of want to coordinate a little bit, but um, and I don't want the doll head the doll heads to be too creepy. Let's see what other things I have. I have other things. I have other things up here. So. Let's see, I have just some music, so I could just take some music and put it on the back. Just take a little bit of that, and then you could always put something over it. See? And actually, the number looks okay. I could just take that up there, and then I could print something on it. Or just take a little piece of paper. You can always fix it. You know, you could cover the whole thing if you want to, but I just think it looks fine just the way it is. Just like that. No, no biggie. Um, so you don't, you know, you don't have to have any mistakes. You know, you can just... And I just think that they look really cool. I, I personally, um, I'm going to do some. I may do some in some other colors, but I personally kind of like the black against the uh, brown. And see, we've antiqued these a little bit. I don't know if you can tell from my inky fingers. So anyway. That's all I had. Nothing exciting. And um, I'm probably going to do uh, a Tim Holtz Tuesday tomorrow. I don't know how long it's going to be or um, what. I, I know what I'm going to do. Um, I promise you it'll be a little bit more exciting. But um, And then I'm not sure about the rest of the week. So the best thing to do is to hit the bell so you're notified. Um, I do uh, Stash Busters on um, Sundays and then I do mass make on Monday and Tim Holtz Tuesday what's on my desk Wednesday um, thrifty Thursday uh, fun Friday and shabby Saturdays that's what my thing is now um, I'm hoping eventually that I can do all of those days but right now it's probably not gonna happen um, not until I get a little bit of my stuff done around here. Um, so I'll probably, I'm trying to do around three a week. Maybe sometimes it might be two. Just until I can get my myself back in business as far as um, having full access to my craft room and getting caught up on some other things. So just bear with me and um, we will be back again. All right, take care.